let's go ahead and get this gear shifter going so we're going to be doing this one in cobalt blue so i've got a couple of things set up here i've got some ocean blue dye and i've got some turquoise blue powder so i'm going to mix those two together and we're going to hit it with a little bit of pearl the silver tends to darken up resin and cobalt blue is a very bright color and so I want it to stay full value I don't want to darken it at all and so I'm going to use the pearl this time and we're going to get that going here So our resin is fully hardened up. It's been sitting out here for about nine days. So let's get this gear shifter all set up. So we're going to mark out where we need to cut it. Right there. load our 3 8 inch bit into the chuck and we will bore this out good clean backside there good clean front Alright, that's ready to get glued up. Alright, let's glue up our cobalt blue pen blank. First thing we need to do, make sure that our barrel passes all the way through, and it certainly does. If it doesn't pass all the way through, then you have a problem inside that you need to investigate. Either you have the wrong hole, or you had too much vibration, and you got a turning in there that shouldn't be. So, that looks fantastic. Passes all the way through, just like that kind of fun. Um, so let's get this glued in. We've got a pre-roughened barrel so this is going to be really easy. So we've got that cap all sealed off so now we can go to our backside and fill this in with a little thin CA. And there we go. Hit that with a little activator. And that'll be ready to turn by morning. Alright, I've got my jig all set up in order to true up the ends on this gear shifter pen. So let's just go ahead and get this going.
Alright, we are all set to turn this gear shift pen. So this blank, it looks pretty fantastic. You can see where I sanded it down in order to make it so I could spin it on my jig for truing up the ends. And you can see the, the shimmer that goes through in there. This is going to look really, really cool. So let's get this turned up. I've got my lathe turned up to 3700 RPM. I've got my finishing tool, which works best with resin when you can't it at about a 15 to 20 degree down angle. So let's get this going. Oh, that looks neat. This is pretty cool. Alright, so I've got that down about as far as I want to go to the bushings. Um, I've got it right at the bushings, but I don't want to go back and forth and clean this up. I'm going to do that with some polishing sandpaper. Uh, so I'm going to get my bench cleaned up here because I am covered in resin. And then we'll get this polished up. Throw my drop cloth down here and we will get this polished up. So I've got some green polishing sandpaper. This is equates to about 400 grit, I think it's 30 micron, and uh, we'll get this polished up. Turn my speed down to 1200 RPM. We'll get this going. Alright, we got that all polished up with that 400 grit polishing paper. Now we just move on to our polishing pads going 1500 all the way through 12,000 grit. Alright, I'll just continue the same process all the way through all the grits. Got this polished all the way through 12,000 grit. Wow, that's a gorgeous pen. Check out that blue. That is so neat. 
Alright, I'm going to hit this on my buffing wheels, really get that a nice shine to it. And then we'll get this assembled. Alright, let's get this buffed up. Let's change over to our white diamond wheel and then we will finish off this polish job. Check that out. Simply gorgeous. Alright, so we get this put together. So this one's real simple, it's just a straight tube design, it can go either direction. Uh, main thing that you just need to decide is where you want your clip to go, so since that's the only choice that we really have to make, uh, first step that we do is we take this tip coupler and we put the extension into either end of our barrel and we're going to put it on this end here. You just simply press that into place. Just like so. Now we decide where we want our clip to go and we've got this dark section this deep blue section that doesn't show off a lot of the sparkle and I want that to be on the exact opposite side of the clip I think that way all of that glorious blue faces upward while you're holding it so I'm going to put that on the exact opposite side of my clip so that will be like the dark side of the moon it's the back side you won't see it too often unless you intentionally are flipping it around to the back so we'll press that in right there. Got a really good transition on both of those ends. Really smooth. Got the exact look that I wanted. Now we simply remove our protective cap off the end of our ink. Place our spring on drop this into the back of the pen, put our tip on, and thread our tip in place. Then we go on the back side and we thread our tire, <laughs> our cap, onto the back side here. There we go, that pen's all done. So to operate you just simply put our shifter into neutral and bring it forward you can bring it forward into first or second gear so first there second there and to take the pen out you just bring it on back and you can throw it into fifth or reverse fifth or reverse <laughs> so doesn't do much in the mid position it's just kind of fun there but yeah first or second gear brings that pen out and then all the way back it even locks it in place so you can't accidentally click it out. Of course, sitting in your pocket, you probably have it facing forward. Otherwise, it might rub on your pocket if it's in the back position. But it's a gorgeous pen. Turned out really, really nice. Really happy with, it, with that blue. We put in a good amount of pearl powder, and uh, it turned out really nicely. And the buffing wheels, using those buffing wheels on the lathe, it's definitely getting a really nice end finish on the resin. I always got a really nice end finish anyway using the polishing pads 
and then some Dr. Kirk scratch free but those buffing wheels just make it flawless it's absolutely no flaws it's gorgeous brings out a really nice shine good reflective properties just a beautiful finish that that, that, that creates absolutely gorgeous it's got a cool tire right here on the top that's a tip that thre we just threaded on so really neat tire feature on there with treads even we've got treads down here at the bottom as well really a comfortable pen it's a little top heavy with all that gear the gear shifting mechanism and everything in there but uh, not too bad not too bad at all that is gorgeous it's going to make a wonderful gift for this woman's husband.